Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. We are rebuilding the New Orleans Pelicans in NBA 2K24. And I feel like the main thing with the New Orleans Pelicans is Zion Williamson's health. He just fails to stay healthy. You know, this year he was actually playing really, really good. Or last year, he was averaging 26 points per game, 7 rebounds, 36% from 3. Honestly, he was, like, he was playing really, really good and one of the Pelicans' best players until he got hurt. And he didn't play a single game after that. Only played 29 games. And in those 29 games, he was actually playing really, really good. In the video, we're going to have to figure out if you want to trade him later down the line or if you want to keep him. I'll most likely keep him, but that still is an interesting idea. Benner Ingram also has some health issues sometimes, but it's well as CJ McCollum, but he's most likely healthy. They extended Herbert Jones as well. I like that. But Trey Murphy is out to the four months, and I feel like he was going to be like a very, very good player this year. He was going to um, have a huge jump because he was really, really good, one of my favorite players. And yeah, it's sad to see him out for two to four months. He might be even longer. He might be out even longer, but yeah. With the inj injury for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and move Larry Nance to power forward. He'll, he he does go up to a 77 overall. So I'm gonna move him to power forward, and then I'll move Trey Murphy back to small forward. I'm gonna move him to the small forward. Uh, he does go up to an 81, which is great. So I'm gonna move him there. And if you take a look at the rotation here, we got CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, James Valanciunas, Larry Nance, Jose Alvarado, Cody Zeller, Dyson Daniels, and Najee Marshall. That does leave Jordan Hawkins out of the which um, I'm gonna put him as an 11th man just in case somebody gets injured he can play in that and I'm in that spot so I'll see you guys at the end of the season I don't plan on making I don't I don't plan on stuff at the trade line it just depends if we're bad and you know yeah so I don't plan on stuff at the trade line MVP rookie theaters Victor Minyama sixth man is Chris Paul defensive player Giannis most improved is Paul Reed your clutch player of the year is Devin Booker coach here going to Nick Nurse um, executive going to Tyler Jamison so on the first team um, yeah, and then I'll be a second team, all NBA third team. So, um, we end up, we did end up making the first seed in the Western Conference. It was great to see. We got to play the Blazers. So, heading into our player stats here, we got 22 from Zion Williamson. He did play 72 games, so he was healthy this season. We got 20 from Brandon Ingram. Um, he played every single game. We got 18 from CJ McCollum. We got 18 from Trey Murphy. He came back, and he was absolute stud, bro. He, he almost shot 50-40-90 on the season. We got, um, we got 12 and 10 from Jonas Valanciunas. Really good starting center. We got 9.5 from Jose Alvarado. We got 8 from Cody Zeller. 7.5 from Carl Lewis. Um, When people was hurt, he kind of got minutes, and he actually played pretty decent. We got 7 from Najee Marshall, 6 from Larry Nance, 6 from Herbert Jones, 5 from Malia and Gomez, 4 from Dyson Daniels, 2 from Jordan Hawkins. So we got to play the Blazers, like I said, so... We got Damian Lillard, Jaden Sharp, Matisse Dybul, Jeremy Grant, Yusuf Nurkic, Anthony Simons off the bench, as well as Scoot Anderson. So, honestly, it's a pretty good team. They got Moses Brown as their backup center. Let's just see what happens. So, against the Blazers, we're going to go ahead. Um, Herbert Jones does have a high sprained ankle. That might be bad. So, our defense is getting worse, which means Dice Daniels is going to have to be in the rotation. I mean, in the starting five, which is fine with me. Or we could get, or we could play Brandon Ingram at the two and play Zion at the, okay. Hey, yeah, this could be interesting here. I'm actually going to go and start Trey Murphy right away. I'm going to play Zion, Trey Murphy, Brandon Ingram, and CJ McCollum. Because B.I. can actually play the two guard if he, if he really wants to. But we're up 2-1 in the series, and we're up 3-1 now. Um, we got 20 from Brandon Ingram. Could we go ahead and beat them at 5, and no, we can't. Can we go ahead? Okay, Dame dropped 50, 52 on us. But can we go ahead and win in 6, and... We're going to a game seven. Dame is absolutely cooking us here, but we're going to a game seven. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what 2K suggests. I mean, yeah, well, I'll go and start Dyson Daniels, I guess. So I'll just go ahead. Hopefully we can win the game seven. There's no way we lose by the Blazers, right? And let's see what happens. Live playing team. So we do have the lead heading into the fourth quarter, but anything could still happen. And we are going to go ahead and pull it off in game seven. 146 to 117. 36 from TJ McCollum versus former team. 25 from Zion. 22 from B. I had 21 from U.S. Valentina, so we're having in the second round to go ahead and play the Golden State Warriors. So Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Wiggins, Kaminga, Draymond Green, Chris Paul, Gary Payton, D.R. Sartre, Corey Joseph, Joshua Primo. I haven't heard that name in a long, long time. And then Moses Moody.
So game one, um, we are going to take, we got almost 40 points from Zion. Game two, they're going to tie it up. Game three, they're going to take the 2-1 lead. They're going to take the 3-1 lead, and wow, okay, this is not looking too good for us. They want to give more minutes to Trey Murphy, but um, we are kind of, I mean, I hope we don't lose by this team, okay? It's a back-to-back scoring game heading into the fourth. I mean, this could go either way here. It's still a two-point game. I'm going to try and go slow here, and we got the three-point lead, four-point lead. It's looking like we are going to pull it off, so we're going to win by two points. I kind of got scared there for a sec. B.I. carried the entire team and then Clay at 31. So Herbert Jones, if he's close to coming back because his defense is really needed now. I mean, if the, let's see if they want if they just want to throw him out there and they actually do. Okay. I, I mean, he, he is hurt, but his defense could come in handy here. But let's see what happens. All right. So we go ahead and force the game seven. Um, yeah, and push the Warriors to seven. And we come out of the first quarter in the halftime really, really hot here. But the Warriors can still come back, but it's not looking like it. So we're going to win the game here. 140 to 103. Zion with 36 points. So can we force the game seven, though? That's my thing. So let's go ahead and force the game seven. They want to take Cooper Jones out of the rotation when they literally suggested that we should put him in. But it is looking like hopefully we can force a game seven. Or do we win? Yes, we did win. And we're having it in the conference time. I forgot what game it was, but we come back from 3-0 to play the Clippers. So, Bones Highland, PG, Kawhi, Covington, Plumlee, Zubac, Norman Powell. Do they have any injuries? And Russell Westbrook, I have to see how long he is out. Um, I think I checked, and it looks like, yeah, he is actually, yeah, he's out for the season. Okay, fractured left leg, that's tough, but we don't have any injuries. We were fully healthy. Herbert Jones should be coming back day to day. So, game one, we are going to go ahead and take. Game two, we're going to take. Game three, they're going to get one game. And, okay. Herbert Jones is fully healed, so that should help us. And yeah, it does. We're, we're up 3 0. I mean, we're up 3 1 in this series now. We beat them in five. And yes, we can. We're right in the NBA Finals to play the Atlanta Hawks. So, um, BI is your Western Conference All MVP. And um, Trey Young is your Eastern Conference. Do not have any injuries. So they're fully healthy, just like us. So, it should be an even series here. So, I'm going to go ahead and update our rotation. So, game one of the NBA Finals, we are going to take. So, we're three games away from winning a championship. Game two, we're going to take. So, we're up 2-0 in this series, so can we go win game 3? No, can we win game um 4? No, we cannot, okay. They're gonna tie it up 2-2, this is a big game here. I'm gonna go ahead and update the rotation like they said, I'm gonna listen to 2K, let's see what's gonna happen here, so, let's see who's gonna take the 3-2 lead here, and I mean, once again, it's a very close game, but the Hawks have the lead here, heading into the 4th, but we can still come back, let's take it back. It's looking like we're gonna take the 3-2 lead, so it's not looking good for us. It would be kind of disappointing if we went all the way this far, just to lose, but can we go ahead and force a game seven, though? I mean, we have, I mean, I feel like we can do it. We have the players to go ahead and force a game seven, and, oh, man, okay, the Hawks might be too good for us, so even in, even in, uh, I mean, it's pretty sure the Hawks are still the, the best player, the best team in the league, so, I mean, yeah, it's looking like we're going to fall short to Atlanta. Dang, okay. That was supposed to be our year right there. I mean, Trey Young dropped 51 points. Like, the Hawks are really not this good in, in real life, but, yeah, I guess it is where it is. In the draft, we have the 15th overall pick. So, honestly, we can either use this pick or trade it. I'm going to use it, though, add more young talent to the team. We also got some more first-round picks. So, honestly, I'm going to throw these guys out here and see what we can get. So, I mean, we're just going to get first-round picks, probably. I mean, can we, like, move up in the draft? No, we cannot. All right. So, let's see if we attach a player in there, too, to see what we can get. So, Jose Alvarado was there. Jordan Hawkins. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be able to trade. Yes. Larry Nance. Okay, so Larry Nance and um these two picks and see what Pops up. So Paul Reed and Jaden Springer. Interesting. Um, but I'm really liking any of these options here. We go and we get Gabe Vincent a first round pick. That's an option there. But I like Jose Alvarado. And yeah, I'm really liking any of these trades. We're gonna go ahead and probably draft with these picks. We can probably trade them on jet on draft night. We'll see. So let's go ahead and send do our pick. So pick 15. We got Donovan Klingon on the board. We got Judah Mintz. We got Kwame Evans. We got Bronny James here, which is interesting. I feel like what we need the most is probably a center. Or we might take Donovan Klingon here. I mean, yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Or, or, or a shooting guard. We got Jordan Hawkins. But I'm going to go ahead and take Donovan Klingon. And then with our other picks in the draft, I'm probably just going to draft one more guy. We got Judah Mintz. I'll see another point guard. Why not give him to me? And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and send to the end of the draft. And then, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and accept.
with the all except the three of these guys. And then team of player options, we got Dyson Daniels, all except that. Qualifying offers, we got um Carl Lewis, which he was actually pretty good for us, and I'm gonna go ahead and extend him, and I'm not gonna extend this 65 overall. So heading into free agency here, we have the bird rights to Najee Marshall. He is a free agent, only asked for five million, and then Carl Lewis asking is asking for like twelve million. He'll come back his qualifying offer, but I do want to bring back Najee Marshall if there's no other forwards we can go ahead and get. We do have Trey Murphy, so we basically have a rotation lock up. We seem to go ahead and get ourselves this center. We can always bring back Jonas Valanciunas, but we don't have the bird rights to him because they'll sign him. It's kind of stupid, but Jonas Valanciunas, I would love to go ahead and bring him back on the, on a nice contract. I'll, 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 be, I'll, I'll only be want to give him a two-year deal, though, $20 million. So about $40 million for Najee Marshall. I mean, um, Jonas Valanciunas, so bring him back, and then after that, we have like a rotation already. Pretty sure we have at least 15 guys in our roster. Yeah, we got 14. So we could sign more player, but I'm waiting to kind of lose the combined qualifying offers. So we should be fine heading into the next season now. We got Donovan Klingon as our backup center for now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in player progression. Hopefully, Carl Lewis can come out as a qualifying offer. I'm not bringing back Najee Marshall. And then, yeah, um, okay, they're both back on the qualifying offer. I, I thought I didn't extend him. I don't know what happened. But um, we can always just cut you know, like Julio Bradley if we need to. We can, I mean, it's, it's it doesn't hurt us, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut Julio Bradley. We don't, we don't need him on our team. So, player progression. It is going to look bad. McCollum is going to go down a lot because it's, that's just what happened to 2K. Zion is up. B.I. is up. Um, Yeah, C.J. McCollum is down. It's going to happen. Trey Murphy is up. You know, Santunas is down. So, it's kind of like it's it's not great or not bad. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season. I'm going to try and look for offers before we head to the new season for C.J. McCollum. But if we can't, I'll just go ahead and try and trade him at the trade deadline or something. So your rotation is CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, B.I., Zion, you know, Son Tunis, Tramer, the Dyson Daniels, Jose Alvarado, Larry Nance, then Donovan Klingon. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Hopefully a trade you see CJ McCollum, but if we're doing good, I'll just leave it. Hopping out the trade deadline now, right now we're 35 and 15 on the season. If we take a look at the injuries here, Zion was out for like a month. He strained his hip and then um I think it's someone else's hurt. Yeah, so Larry Nance is out for the season. Torn right Achilles injury. So our powerful Robinson is kind of is kind of non-existent right now. We're playing Bi at the I'm um, at the four right now, but yeah, they just wanted to do that. But one thing I do want to do is not actually trade McCollum. He's actually playing pretty good. You know, 39% from three. I want to keep him at least win one championship with him and then trade him in the off season if we could do that. But if we don't want a championship here, I definitely want to get an upgrade at the center position. So I want to upgrade at this center position for us to be like immediate contenders and win a championship for the first time. Because we went ahead, we made it to the finals this year. So we're obviously ready, so I want to go ahead and trade for a center. I want to trade for the Boston Celtics, Chris Hopper, and I don't, I don't see why they'll be interested in Jonas Valanciunas, but maybe they just want to go ahead and play like Tatum at that power forward, Jalen Brown at small forward, and then yeah, so maybe they'll be interested in doing that. Because they don't really have a good backup center right now. They got Hurt and Gomez, which I actually let them go. Maybe they want to have them come off the bench and they could run like a smaller lineup, and that could make more sense, but yeah, I want Chris Porzingis on the team, so we need about 4 or 10, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so Carl Lewis comes in handy right away for this. And then three first-round picks, I'm also doing a deal because I really want them to agree to this. This pick has no value, honestly. I'll go and throw it at them anyway. So um, three first-round picks, Jonas and Carl Lewis for us as we're saying, what do you say? And they do decline. We might have to put a pick with more value in there, actually. So I'll say it's this. And they still don't agree. Wow, okay. A second. I don't want to give up four first extra pick in there and they did agree to the trade so we get Chris Porzingis in the we get Chris Porzingis in a trade so I'm gonna go ahead and put him at the center position then after that yeah I'll see you guys at the end of the season hopefully we can stay healthy so at the end of the season after that Kristaps Porzingis trade here we were the second seed so we weren't the first seed this year we were the second seed so heading into our player stats here we got about 21 points from Zion Williams we got 20 from Brandon Ingram we got 17 and a half from, Chris, um, from Porzingis we got 16 from McCollum we got 16 from Trey Murphy we got 10 from Dyson Daniels he started most of the season like um yeah the last 52 games I think we got 10 from Herbert Jones we got 8 from Donovan Klingon we got 7 from 
some dude I'm interested. He is injured right now. So when we got six Mosey Alvarado, you know, five, four, and then yes, we gotta play the Minnesota Timberwolves. So the Timberwolves right now, they have DJ Wagner, Anthony Edwards. So I mean, they have a pretty good backcourt here, pretty good young backcourt. One thing I did notice is Anthony Edwards finally has a face scan in 2K, which is good. And we got Kenya Martin, Carl Anthony Towns, Nas, Rudy really, really Gobert, Jay McDaniel, Shake Milton, Nikhil and Walker, Luca, and then yeah, Wendell Moore. So I don't feel that intimidated, but against the Minnesota Timberwolves, okay, Jose Alvarado has a high, high left sprained ankle, so he'll be out four to six weeks. So we normally have a backup point guard now, which is which is which is disappointing. But I guess I you know um, EJ Little can come in the rotation, and then we're gonna go up. Okay, they're gonna tie it up. They're gonna take the two one lead. They're gonna take the three one lead, and they are gonna eliminate us in five. Oh gosh. All right, so that is very disappointing that we lost in the first round for that poor single trade. I thought that would turn us into like into like championship contenders, but I guess now we I do be, yeah we made the NBA finals last year, but we got eliminated in the first round that year, so that's a huge gap. But um yeah, LeBron James is gonna call a quit on the Los Angeles Clippers, so he switches LA teams, I guess. All right, so we got pick five in the draft here. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this pick for a trade here to upgrade our depth. So I'm definitely going to look to do that. Maybe a better backup point guard. Maybe another center or power forward. We definitely need one. I am going to explore ideas to, uh, explore ideas to go ahead and trade the number five overall pick. All right, so I was looking around the league, and I found some offers here that I actually like. So, number one offer here, we're getting um, Valentunas back, which I don't want to do. This wasn't going to be a first-round pick, but I still don't want to get him back on the team. Um, the one offer I did actually like was this offer right here. We're getting Cole Anthony and Nick Richards, a nice backup point guard, and a better backup center. And then we can also do the trade with the Jazz, get a nice backup shooting guard, and we get a great um, back and we get a backup center with, with um, very good rebounding and Andre Drummond. We, I'm also liking this trade here. We can get Mitchell Robinson and Cam Payne, which he just recently got waived today, and then, or like, a, or I don't know when this video is going to be out, but today he got waived. But I'm really, really liking this trade here, getting Jared Vanderbilt and Gabe Vincent from the LA Lakers. Um, we're getting exactly what we need here with, with this trade, so I um, might be looking to do that. We also got like Wendell Carter, Jalen Smith. We're getting Bruce Brown from the Mavericks. Honestly, this could be great, but yeah, we also getting, we're also getting Cameron Johnson, Buddy Heald, and Obi Toppin, so I think I'm going to do that Lakers trade. DeAndre Ayton is, would be okay, but once again, I don't want to trade Herbert now, so I think I'm going to do the trade with the Lakers here, although, I mean, these are very good role players. I don't know if they're worth the fifth overall pick, but I don't think in 2K we're not going to get anything better than this here, so I'm actually going to do this trade here. If we can squeeze, like, one more person out of them, I would definitely do it. Let's say if we can get Max Willows as well, and then, I mean, he has a 71 overall, so it shouldn't matter too much. I just want to see if we can get him in the deal, so he'll be a nice throw-in. And they want two, and they want a, a, another first and a second, honestly. I'll just go back to the original trade here and get Jared Vanderbilt and Gabe Vincent on the loss. And the Lakers are trade finder. Let's go to the Lakers and just do the original trade once again that they were offering me. So Jared Vanderbilt and Gabe Vincent, welcome to New Orleans here. We're not going to get anything better for this than the fifth overall pick, but I feel like it's the, great, uh, I feel like it's the best trade they can possibly do. We get a backup power forward and we get a backup point guard, which means Jose Alvarado and Drew Mintz probably won't be bad to the team. That does make Drew Mintz more ex expendable, so we could trade him. But yeah, we're trading the fifth overall pick for these two guys. So team of play options here. I'm gonna go ahead and accept Dyson Daniels, Jordan Hawkins, and then EJ Little. I'm actually gonna go ahead and decline that. So um, and the call thing offers you Trey Murphy. The third is a free agent here, so I definitely want to bring him back. He was actually really really good for us. And then stretch for the Pelicans and Brennan. Ingram is a free agent as well. Forgot all about that. So, Jose Alvarado and Larry Nance would not be back with the team, even though they could use for, for more depth, but they're just going to keep going down overalls, and they don't really develop too good as well as Larry Nance. He's like 32 years old at this point. So, I definitely want to go ahead and bring back Brandon Ingram. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So, B.I., welcome back to the team. Five-year deal. And then, um, Trey Murphy, I'm going to wait until his qualifying offers over to go ahead and re-sign him. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sign Brandon Ingram. Then, Trey Murphy, I want him back after my auditorium 10. So, okay. So, Let's go ahead and bring back Trey Murphy here. I'm actually going to go and give him 20 million for like three years or four years. So Trey Murphy will come back okay, and offer it. I forgot to. All right. So Trey Murphy will come back to the team on a nice contract, almost 90 million. So go ahead and sign Trey Murphy. Then after that, we should be in the clear. Um, Donovan Klingon should develop. We still have Porzingis. So just in case, I'll go ahead and sign another center since we have about 12 players in the I'm going to go ahead and sign an extra center just in case. So Steven Adams, Noel Wagner, Cody Zeller, Tim and Z Metu. I'll go ahead and sign Metu here for like um, a two year deal or a one year deal. Three and a half million. So go ahead and bring him on the team. And after that, we should be fine.
Just for more depth, I'm gonna go ahead and sign Haywood Highsmith to a minimum. Then one more four would be nice here. So we got Osman here, got Justy Winslow, we got OPJ, we got Joe here. Don't know how to pronounce his name at all. We got Stan Huser as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign Osman here for more depth, and after that, we should be fine. I'm gonna run out Jose Alvarado and EJ Little so they won't be coming back and like the qualifying offer or something. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign both these guys, and I'll see you guys in player progression. Player progression. Zion Williamson is up, Anna Ingram is up, Porzingis is up, CJ McCollum. Um, if we can push one more year out of him, because after this, he should be going down a lot over us here. Or if he's just not playing good, we can look to maybe trade him at the trade deadline here, because after this, he's going to keep going down over us. Herbert Jones, um, Jared Vanderbilt is also up, Dyson Daniels, Gabe Vincent, Judah Mins, we got Donovan Klingon going up, Jordan Hawkins, and then yeah, I'll see you guys in the rotation. Is pretty balanced out all the way. We got McCollum, Dyson, Daniels. They still want to start him, which I guess I'll leave. We got Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Porzing. It's Jared Vanderbilt off the bench. Herbert Jones. So our defense off the bench is insane with Vanderbilt and Herbert Jones. We got Trey Murphy, Gabe Vincent, Donovan Klingon. And he and Klingon is also a good defender. Gabe Vincent is also a really good defender. So our defense off the bench is absolutely insane. So this could be our championship year. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. This year we had the best record in the NBA. We won 58 games this season, 58-24. But the one the bad thing about this is CJ McCollum did break his right ankle, and he was out for almost the entire season after this. So yeah, he only played 29 games, so he was out for almost the entire season after he broke his ankle, which is kind of disappointing. Which means Gabe Vincent was starting almost the entire season, which he actually played pretty good. And yeah, let's see what happens. So I think we're deep enough. If McCollum could come back, I feel like this team would be unstoppable. So, I need CJ McCollum to come back, but yeah, I'll see what happens. So, we have to play the Utah Jazz. So, the Jazz have Colin Sexton, Oshai Baji. They got Jimmy Butler, interesting. Patrick Williams, Walker Kessler, THT, Hendricks, Cody, um, Jordan, Jordan Clarkson, Andre Drummond, and then Bryce Sitsabas. So, against the Jazz, we are going to go ahead and, okay, okay, Van Vanderbilt, he's out one to two weeks. Is he still playing, though? I have to see. Okay, so Vanderbilt, he is, okay, out one to two weeks, but is he still playing? No. I mean, yeah, he's still playing, okay. I mean, he's he's still hurt, but um, he they want to throw him out there, so I guess we can go. I guess we can throw him out there. So we're up three one, and we are gonna advance to the second round. How close is CJ McCollum to coming back? Okay, he's about one to two weeks. All right, so now we're gonna play OKC. So SGA, Devin Vassell, Trent Paul, Jalen Williams, Chet Holmgren. Um, I feel like there's something. Yeah, it's like Josh Giddy hurt or something. No, they have no injuries, which they I guess they let Josh Giddy go on for agency. But against the Thunder here, we are gonna. Go ahead and okay, Vanderbilt's fully healed. McCollum is back as well. We're still gonna go down three to one. There's no way this team should be going down three to one like this. We're fully healthy right now. I don't know what's going on, but let's see what happens. Can we go ahead and force the game six? Like, I don't know what's going on here, but can we force the game six and not get eliminated in five once again? Because I feel like I assembled the best team I could possibly could here, and it's looking like we are gonna go ahead and force the game six. So we get two games. Um, Zion went off for 31 points, but can we go ahead and tie the series up 3-3? So they want, I'm going to update the rotation here. And can we go ahead and tie the series, series up 3-3? They want to bench Christoph Porzingis. Christoph Porzingis, why? I'm, not, I'm, I'm still going to throw him in the rotation, though. He's averaging only 12.5 points per game, so maybe he wasn't the best fit in New Orleans. But let's just see what happens if we can go ahead and force a game 7. And it's not looking like we are going to be able to. Unless we can come back at the very end and stop. I'm going to do it. We got absolutely demolished there. I mean, yeah, SGA draft. 50 points on us. What did okay? Porzingis at 14, so we're unable to win a championship. Zion Williamson got hurt. He had back spasms, but yeah, might be looking like it's over. But I'll go ahead and run it back one more year to see if we can win a championship. So what I'm going to do this offseason, I'm going to go and sign and trace Steve McCollum. We had the dirt overall pick. I went ahead and selected Junior Burns here. So I want to go ahead and sign and trade CJ McCollum to a specific team here, which this could make some sense. Not quite sure, but it could. So um, Porzingis said he's not interested, but I'm going to bring him back, though. I have a little tactic here. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, that's his. Okay, so I'm going to I'm bring back Porzingis. So, yeah, Chris Stops, see if he can get. Okay, I'm um, tactic too much. Let's go ahead and probably bring back Chris Stops. 
Porzingis here. We are going to, so Porzingis is go ahead and give him, okay, that's a lot of money, but I'm still going to go ahead and pay him. I'll, I'll, I'll do a three-year deal instead, so yeah, three-year deal, $46 million, get him back on contract. He might be hard cap, so I'm just going to go ahead and hurry up and sign and trade CJ McCollum to a team that I think would make a lot of sense here. So we're going to go ahead and give CJ McCollum, we're, we're going to have to give him, um, we're going to have to overpay a little bit so we can match the guy's contract, so McCollum, then I'm going to give him this contract, then I'm going to go ahead and sign and trade him to the team that I want to do. So here's the and here's the team I want to go ahead and sign and trade Siege McCollum to. I know it might not make sense because um the Hawks do have Trey Young, but he is a free agent and I do not think he re-sign with him. Let me just make sure real quick. And he actually, yeah, he's not the Dallas Mavericks. It's really ironic there, but yeah, he's not the Dallas Mavericks. Vince once again very ironic, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and trying and get Dejounte Murray. He would be the perfect point guard, fill in the role of Siege McCollum filled. I feel like he would even be better than him, but yeah, we can match salary off. Then I'm gonna have to include Jordan Hall in the trade, which is going to suck, but we're going to have to do it to go ahead and get the point guard that we want to get. I'm moving to the point guard. He should go up as well, so let's see what they say to this right away. Maybe they want to rebuild now and take on bad contract for draft picks. Let's see what they say to this. No, they say no, okay. They, they, they are getting a young player. We only have one first round pick to trade. Honestly, I'm going to be doing it. So last year, we're going to be doing this. Let's see what they say, and they are still going to say no, okay. Um, we can, like, include Judah and Mins in the deal, because we're going to be bringing back Gabe Vincent, so Judah and Mins could have have some value here, but if we're doing this, I mean, I'm not going to give up a first round pick. So, these three guys for DeJounte, they do agree. We get DeJounte Murray on the team to be our new starting point guard. So, that is the final move to go ahead and put this team over the top. I'm just going to go ahead and re sign my depth. So, um, Dyson Daniels, hopefully, can come in as a qualifying offer, but if we can afford him, I will definitely go ahead and give him that contract. So, Gabe Vincent, I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring him back on a three year deal. And then, can I afford Dyson? No, we can't, obviously. Yeah. So, um, we're hard cap, which is very disappointing, but hopefully, he can come this qualifying offer then after that i'm gonna fill out some more depth and then after that we should be fine so i'm just gonna go ahead and sign once again another center or do we need to what, what do we need the most we need a backup two just in case dice and nails is a comeback so we need a backup two for sure so um i'm not gonna sound like a very good one just like uh, you know some, some somebody like a chris duarte um frank jackson landry shaman give me landry shaman on a minimum contract just in case dice and daniels doesn't accept the qualifying offer now we're also gonna need to bring back this little bit more forwards and the center so I'm gonna sign a center. I'm gonna sign an extra center just in case. So Mo Wagner, Mo Bamba, Diaro Sarge, Omer, got Drew Eubanks here, Metu. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that Metu on a minimum contract. And then after that, we should be in the clear. So if you take a look at the rotation here, we got John T. Murray, Dyson Daniels, Brandon Ingram, Zion Lampson, Christoph Porzingis. I love that starting five there. And then we also got Trey Murphy, Jared Vanderbilt, Herbert Jones, Donovan Klingon, and Gabe Vincent. This rotation is absolutely insane. One of the best teams in the league by far. If we still can't win a championship, then yeah, I don't know what this. I don't know, man. All right, man. If we don't win a championship, it should, it, I guess the Pelicans are just cursed, man. Because if we can win a championship this year, it'll be insane. Because I, I, I assembled the best team possible. Well, if what I could work with with this team, we still can't win a championship. So let's just see what happens, man. The Mavericks in the first round, by the way, they still have Luca, Kyrie. They went ahead and signed Trey Young off the bench. So they, that's how guard heavy this team is. We should not lose by this team at all, right? Okay, we're gonna sweep them good. Now we got Denver, Jamal Murray, Zachary, MP. How'd they get Cooper Flag and Zach? I'm not, I'm not even going to question it, bro. If we lose by this team, I mean, they got a pretty good team. But uh, after that, their bench kind of just falls off. If you notice, Noel Yudoka has a boogie, Fern and Carey. So their bench obviously falls off. So let's see what happens against them. I'm done. I'm done. There's just no way we're losing by this team. There's no I mean, like Cooper Flag and Peyton Watson, they're starting. They're, they're good additions, but... No, no, you can't tell me they have a better team than ours, right? DeJounte Murray, okay. You know what, whatever. I give up, man. Hope you guys enjoy. I guess 2K was just not on our side today, because, yeah, we definitely should win a championship, and, yeah, the fact we didn't even make the NBA finals with this team is absolutely insane, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.